It is burning a little bit. The bees are a buzzing, the birds are a singing, the sun is a shining, and Hannah's a eating. I thought I'd film the process because this is always an interesting experience. <laughs> the heavy way strikes again. I've actually lost the plot, like I've fully lost the plot by this point. Hello my loves, I hope you're all having a lovely start to this weekend. The beadiest eyes amongst you may have realised that this isn't my usual upload day. I usually upload on Mondays, Thursdays or Sundays, a couple of those three. But happy Saturday! The reason I'm uploading today is actually for a very special cause. So the lovely Saffron Barker has started this campaign called Hashtag YouTubers for NHS Heroes. All the ad revenue made from this video throughout April will be donated to the NHS. Just as a little thank you, we all want to raise awareness for the amazing work that the NHS are doing right now. After this little clip, this video is a completely normal isolation vlog, but there may be an extra ad thrown in there. So please watch the ads in full. That is the way we can donate the most money. It's such a good idea because you guys can donate simply by watching this video. And if you yourself are any of the key workers that are working super hard right now, keeping the country going, I wanna say a personal massive thank you. We all appreciate the work you're doing. And honestly, you are literally the superheroes of the world. I'm also gonna leave a link in the top line of the description down below so if you want to donate anything extra I would highly encourage you to do so but obviously I understand not everyone's in that situation so simply watch the ads on this video and we can donate together anyway grab a cuppa enjoy the vlog I can't promise it's that exciting but you guys seem to like seeing me at home I honestly don't understand why whatever floats your boat whatever grinds your salt and pepper shakers <laughs> I won't slow down steady on my feet I'm gonna rise up no I won't Stop, it is my time. We meet again. Welcome back to another lockdown vlog. If lockdown was a screenshot from a YouTube video, I think it would be this. Anyway, surprisingly, you guys actually really enjoyed the last lockdown vlog. I thought it was going to be really dull, I'm going to be honest, but so many of you commented on that video saying, please do one of these a week. So, that's what we're doing. So, since my last lockdown vlog, absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> still in lockdown, still doing many face masks. All I've done is been filming and editing videos as usual. This morning, I have spent the entire morning editing and uploading a video. It's actually the last video that I uploaded. It's my 10 easy hairstyles for long hair. I'm so excited about it. I love how the video has turned out. I'm just really excited to upload it. It feels quite old school YouTube. Then, what happened next? I put a face mask on. This is the face mask that I have on currently. It's from Glossier. It literally arrived this morning. It's a detoxifying face mask. I ordered a few other things from there as well, so I'll show you those a bit later on. It is burning a little bit. I could be allergic to it, or it could just be the excitement of it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some more baking. You guys really enjoyed the Tyson Fury appearance in my last vlog, so might have to get Tyson Fury back out and bake something else. Our mirror is so loud. <laughs> What a 21st century sentence. Anyway guys, I thought I would share with you a top tip of how to take off a clay face mask because it used to be the bane of my life having to put my face under the tap. So instead, I ordered these little face cloths. I got these on Amazon. I have three white ones and three gray ones. They come in a pack of six quick maps. And pretty much, I drenched this with warm water, wiped my face, rinsed the cloth, do it again, and it's so much easier. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Probably everyone but me. Welcome back everybody to Tyson Fury's Great British Bake Off! The heavy way strikes again. I've actually lost the plot, like I've fully lost the plot by this point. It's a boiling hot day and I'm wearing my dressing gown just to pretend I'm Tyson Fury baking a cake. Also, my bun is making the hood look hilarious. Tyson, my friend, what are you baking today? Well, my friend, I'm gonna be baking a carrot cake. For the people, for the many, not the few. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that many people like carrot cake. Underrated, in my opinion. Let's get baking. Today I'm using a classic carrot cake recipe on the BBC website. I mean Tyson's using. There's actually only four steps on this recipe, so it's not very detailed. I'm going to give it my best shot, though, as Tyson would. You know when you get to that point when you've got all your ingredients out, you're about to start and then you think, can I be bothered? <laughs> Come on, Tyson. Pick up your motivation, my king. Step one, preheat the oven. While the family's all been at home, during lockdown. My parents seem to be spending a considerably larger amount of time in the garden than usual. Is that because they're sick of me? Potentially. I should have used a bigger bowl for this, I admit. I apologise, but Tyson is way too hot in this dressing gown. Jesus, I think this cake's gonna be huge. This is only the dry ingredients. 
And look how many carrots it needs. Surely not. God, it looks like I'm cooking for my family and my neighbours today. It kind of looks disgusting, just ignore that. This bowl is massive. It's, the camera's not doing it justice at all. Honestly, there is so much mixture in here. Of all the recipes on the internet, and I choose the one that's the biggest cake in the entire world. So here are my three carrot cakes. I'm not gonna lie, they smell disgusting. I don't know if I've done something wrong, but they smell like scrambled eggs and bacon, and I really don't know why. But while we wait for them to cool down, we're just gonna go for a quick walk, and then when I come back, I'm gonna quickly make the icing to go between them. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through Everything's about to come Okay, I now present to you Tyson Fury's carrot cake <laughs> So it doesn't look the best, I have to admit But this has been my one and only achievement of the day So let's just pretend that it looks fine I think she just doesn't work well in a group Because when she's on her own She is thriving my friends I've just tasted a little bit as well It's actually very nice So it looks like my day wasn't a total waste of time Makes a change Me making the set look nice <laughs> Hello again everyone. So I've decided to make this a two day vlog because yesterday my vlogging ability was subpar to say the least. To be perfectly honest I was just having one of those days where the world felt like a little bit much. I didn't feel like putting on a brave face for the rest of the day so it wasn't the perkiest traits of my personality yesterday so I decided you know what I'm just gonna leave it start again tomorrow because I always have a bad day then a good day. So I'm continuing this vlog. I don't want to let you guys down. I thought I would share with you my recent Glossier order because Glossier is quite a recent discovery for me. This is only my second order from them and I'm well and truly obsessed I have to admit. So obviously you saw the face mask that I was using yesterday. This is the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. My verdict on this after the first use made my skin feel lovely. To be honest my skin's in quite good condition at the minute apart from my chinny chin chin. So I feel like it wasn't really put to its full potential. Also I've been using something else let me grab it. So this is a little sample of the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 second pore refining treatment. This little sample came in the recent Glossy Box Easter Egg and I've been using this on my pores. You literally leave it on for 60 seconds and it all bubbles up on your face. It's the weirdest thing but I've managed to get three uses out of it so far and I love it I definitely feel like it's reduced my pores so because I've been using that I couldn't really tell if this was working but it made my skin feel nice so I'm happy I bought it then the next thing is actually a repurchase that I bought in my first order so this is Glossier's solution this is a chemical exfoliator so instead of it being really abrasive and taking off dead skin cells it literally feels like water but it's got chemicals in it that clean your face so I've been really enjoying using this I also I just feel like it's a lot of fun <laughs> So you open it up and it's got this little thing on it and you put your cotton pad on that, press that down. I just enjoy using it to be honest. Not sure if it's made a massive difference to my skin. It did make me break out at first. So that kind of gives me an indication that it's doing something for my skin. I also purchased a bubble wrap. This is an eye and lip plumping cream. I use this on my eyes every single day and most nights as well to be honest. I really like it. I'm a bit addicted to it. It's another one where I'm like, has this made a difference to my eyes or has it been a gradual process and I've not really noticed it? I think it's the second one but anyway I think it feels so lovely putting it on and then the last two things I picked up from Glossier <laughs> it's not a big cigarette these are a couple of their new eyeshadows that I wanted to try out so I got these in the shades Terra and Valley and this is what I used yesterday and I've used on my eyes today they're super easy to use they're a liquid formula so they look like a lipstick but then when you put it on your eyelids and blend it out it goes to like a powder consistency I love them anything that's gonna make my life easy honestly I want it right next plan of the day what shall one do maybe I'll film a TikTok I think that's a sentence that everyone has thought throughout this lockdown I've decided I'm gonna learn a TikTok dance and I thought I'd film the process because this is always an interesting an experience. I am not good at dancing. I danced for like 12 years of my life. Waste of time. Waste of money. Sorry mum and dad. I still can't dance. Let's give it a go. Right. Oh god, she's really pretty. Oh, how do they look nice when they do it? Okay, I think I've got it. It actually didn't take me that long. I'd say about five minutes. To be fair, it's quite an easy dance. Done it wrong again. Oh my god, I did it! Mate, TikTok Pro, where are my 43 million followers? Today's actually Good Friday, and I said to my mum this year, I was like, I don't really want an Easter egg this year, because she always gets me one. But this year, I was just like, 
I never really finish it. It just felt like a bit of a waste. But instead, this morning, she came into my room with these. Four bars of vegan chocolate to get through. I'm not vegan by any means, but these chocolates are incredible. So these ones are the Raw Halo Milk and Pink Himalayan Salt Chocolates. I've had these so many times. I love them. She got all of these from Holland and Barrett. These ones I've bought so many times. I think they're $2.99 each. So they're a little bit more expensive than normal chocolate, but it's honestly delicious. And then I'm not sure how much these ones were, but these are also vegan chocolates she got me to try so this one is just pure dark chocolate and this one is salted caramel very excited to try these i might open this one later mm -mm -mm. happy easter everyone it's honestly such a nice day outside so i'm gonna head out there maybe have some lunch in the garden and just try to make the most of the little things like the sun shining in the garden the bees are a buzzing the birds are a singing the sun is a shining and hannah's a eating as always i've decided in a spectacular turn of events I'm gonna make myself a TikTok coffee. <laughs> I've seen loads of people doing this whipped iced coffee thing on TikTok and I'm not usually one for trends. I'm the kind of person, if something is really trendy, I avoid it purposely because I don't want to be that person. But I love being iced coffee, so I'm gonna cave with this one. I'm gonna do it in a mixing bowl. Is that over excessive? It's literally a cup of coffee. That's excessive. So to make the TikTok coffee that literally none of you have asked for, two tablespoons of instant coffee. One, two, smells so good. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of boiling water. Then we're gonna mix, 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 mix until this is like frothy. Next step, ice cubes in a glass and milk. Oh, that looks nice actually. You go in there, my friend. Don't know if I'm meant to put all of this in, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I like coffee. And I'm sure half of these kids on TikTok don't like coffee and are just making this because it's on TikTok. Whereas I am a grown adult. <laughs> she says, making a TikTok recipe. Then we give her a good old mixy mix. And then my friends, you have yourself a TikTok iced coffee, a whole lot of fake confidence, and you'll feel about six years younger. Oh my gosh, that is a strong coffee. Two tablespoons of coffee, I did question it. And I'm also gonna have with my coffee a slice of yesterday's carrot cake. Verdict, this is delicious. Na, 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 na. My verdict on the coffee, if you're gonna make it, I feel like the person might have meant teaspoons of coffee and sugar because it was very strong and very sweet. Hello and welcome to the most boring vlog segment you've ever seen in your life. This is me and my mum sorting out my dad's medication. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually filming this. But I wasn't gonna, but then I thought, well, this is actually one of my to-do tasks of the day. So once a week, my mum and I go through my dad's pill box and refill it all. Because if you didn't know, he had open heart surgery in January. So he's obviously still on quite a lot of medication because it's still quite early days. But a lot of you have asked actually how he is. First of all, thank you so much for asking that. It's such a lovely question and it means a lot to know that you care. He is doing really well. He's recovering really well. He's not working as much as he used to because he used to overwork himself every single day so he's taking everything a bit easier so here comes pharmacist tan i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks Dr. your uncle oh my goodness i've been doing some wholesome gardening not even showed you did it even happen let's go family gardening family gardening this is a quick before shot of the vegetable patch i'm aware this isn't very interesting but i thought i'd show you so we're just digging all of these up at the minute because these are all weeds and old vegetables yeah. this is our plan for the afternoon i just want to feel alive it's just what i do when i'm out and this is the after ready for this year's veggies not quite it's got to be motivated oh not quite ready for this year's veggies barbecue barbecue does whatever the barbecue does salad some potato wedgies chinese flavored chicken a sausage coleslaw bon appetit barbecue delish i think that brings us to the end of this vlog guys we're about to go for a little evening stroll along the river again but i'm not going to bring you because you've seen that already twice <laughs> get a little bit more original hand but i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and remember to check out the link in the description down below please do consider heading over and donating if you've got an extra three five ten pounds you name it i would be super grateful for any donations that you could put forward on behalf of our little family but anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you have a lovely easter weekend and i'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys, love ya.